Hi friends, how are you all today? Let's sing our good morning song. Good morning, Dominic. Good morning, Dominic. Good morning, Dominic. So glad you're watching school. Woo! Good morning, Zanaya. Good morning, Zanaya. Good morning, Zanaya. So glad you're watching school. Woo! Good morning, Nayana. Good morning, Nayana. Good morning, Nayana. So glad you're watching school. Woo! Good morning, Renard. Good morning, Renard. Good morning, Renard. So glad you're watching school. Woo! Good morning, Damien. Good morning, Damien. Good morning, Damien. So glad you're watching school. Woo! Good morning, Adrian. Good morning, Adrian. Good morning, Adrian. So glad you're watching school. Woo! Good morning, Callie. Good morning, Callie. Good morning, Callie. So glad you're watching school. Woo! How are you all doing? I'm feeling happy this morning. I want to talk about our month and our season. Who remembers what month it is? Let me give you a hint. It's the first month of the year. You said January. You're correct. It's January. And look at our January sign. Who knows what this says? He's made out of snow and he has buttons and a hat. He's a snowman. So what season do you think it is? If there's snow on the ground and you can make snowmen and it's very cold outside and you can see your breath when you blow into the wind, it's winter time. And today when you look outside, it's a little bit sunny and it's very cold. So make sure you bundle up so you don't catch a cold. Let's talk about our day of the week. Who remembers our days of the week song? Let's sing it together. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the days of the week. Well, let's see. We didn't have any class on Monday. Miss Reese sent you a video on Tuesday about the letter D. Miss Connie sent you a video on Wednesday about the letter E. And today, is Thursday. Thursday is the one, two, three, four, fourth day of the week. Welcome to Thursday. Let's sing our song one more time. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the days of the week. Okay, friends, we've been talking about our ABCs. Let's take a look and see what you can remember. Who knows what letter this is? If you said A, you're correct. The A says A. Eh. The A says A. Eh. Every letter makes a sound. The A says A. Eh. Hmm, I wonder what letter this is. If you said B, you're super smart. The B says B. The B says B. Every letter makes a sound. The B says B. Hmm, what comes next? That's a C. The C says K, the C says K. Every letter makes a sound, the C says K. Here we go. What letter's this? That's right, the D says D. The D says D. Every letter makes a sound, the D says D. And who remembers this one? Miss Connie just told you this one yesterday. That's the letter E. The E says eh. The E says eh. 
Every letter makes a sound. The E says eh. You see, E is for elephant. Eh, eh, elephant. Now we have a new letter that we're going to learn today. Who knows what letter this is? That's the letter F. Can you say the letter F? And F makes the F sound. Can you make the F sound? Good job, friends. F is for fox. Miss Reed took a look around her house and she found some things that began with the letter F. Let's take a look. The first thing Miss Reed found was a oh, fly swatter. Fly swatter. Shoot flies. Don't bother me. Get out of here. Swat those flies. What color is that fly swatter? Do you see what color that is? If you said yellow, you're right. Good job, friends. I also found another thing that begins with the letter F. Who knows what this is? You're right. That's a flower. Oh, that smells beautiful. Another thing that begins with the letter F is fish. Oh, this is the same color as our fly swatter. What color was that again? That's a yellow fish. Good job, friends. And you know what else begins with the letter F? Look at your hands. What on your hands began with the letter F? If you said fingers, you're right. Fingers, letter F. Okay, friends, let's go to our board and try to write the letters E and F. The last time I saw you, we talked about C for cat and D for dog. Now I'm going to erase those. And now we're going to do E. How do we write the letter E? Well, we make a long stick with three short sticks, one at the top, one at the bottom, and one in the middle. That's the capital letter E. Let's make the small letter E. This one's a little tricky. It's kind of like a swirly loop. You go boom, and you go around, round, round. That's the little letter E. What's something that we could draw for the letter E? Hmm. Well, I guess we could draw an elephant. I don't know if Miss Ree can do it, but I'll try. Here's his head. Here's his big long trunk. And here's his big floppy ear. There's his eye. There we go. That's Miss Ree's elephant. Now let's talk about the letter F. The F is a long stick with a short stick on top and another stick down below. It's almost like an E, but it's missing one of the sticks. And a lowercase or a little f is like a hook with a line. What's something that Miss Reed could draw that begins with the letter F? How about a fish? Miss Reed's gonna draw a fish. And there's his tail, and there's his eye, and here's his fish lips. And I'll put a few bubbles just so you know. He's underwater. That's our lesson for today, friends. I hope you have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you next week. Remember, look around and see if you can find anything in your house that begins with the letter F. Have a great day.